What is up guys, my name is Cameron and today I am back at Lone Depot Park here in Miami, Florida for game two of the semifinals for the 2023 World Baseball Classic. Last night I was here for the USA versus Cuba game. The US won 14 to two. It was a crazy chaotic game, a lot of fun. If you wanna see the video from that one, it's right up here. And for today, I am here to see Shohei Otani and Team Japan face off with Randy Rosarena and Team Mexico. Both teams have been very, very good so far in this World Baseball Classic. So sure to be a great game. Super to see this matchup super excited to see who gets to face the u.s in the championship should be a lot of fun and i'm about to head inside so otani's taking batting practice and before he hit the scoreboard i've never seen somebody do that at this ballpark in my life that's nuts this guy has crazy power so to center field it's 400 feet. Otani's home run went all the way up to the scoreboard. I've never seen anything like that. I think that's got to be easily a 500 foot shot. Got some more studs in the building today. Big Poppy, David Ortiz, talking to Alex Verdugo right there. We got the Fox TV set up over there, Kevin Burkhart. And here is man of the hour, Shohei Otani. There's Harold Reynolds with Lars Nupar, Adam Jones over there. This is Greg Amsinger, Pedro Martinez. Here's another man of the hour, Randy Rosarena taking some hacks. It's pretty wild. I've noticed there's double or triple the amount of people on the field during batting practice today compared to the U.S. versus Cuba game. It's very early, but from what I've seen so far, it looks to be about 75% Japan fans and 25% Mexico fans. So I'm checking out this bobblehead museum here in center field. They have bobbleheads from all different teams all around the league, and they're all organized. So you can see this whole row here of Cubs bobbleheads. Obviously, you have a bunch of the normal just player bobbleheads, but there's also some funny ones. Here's just Thor, dressed in Giants colors. Got some of the sausages from Milwaukee. A ton of mascots. Here's the Marlins mascot. Here's a Philly fanatic dressed as Darth Vader. You got Carlos Lee on a horse. You got Mr. Clean down here. Got some of the Sandlot characters. There's even one for Pitbull here. And the cool part about this whole setup is it's constantly shaking so that all the bobbleheads are actually bobbling. I am such a big fan of unique ballpark features like that. I think that's awesome. Also, if you're ever at Lone Depot Park and you're hot because it's Miami and Miami's always hot, keep a lookout for some of these here. These vents that you can find along the concourse are just blasting AC and they feel so good to stand under. I've spotted some more people. CC Sabathia right here talking to Adam Jones. I believe this is Carlos Gomez. We have A-Rod joining the Fox desk over there. By the way, if you guys are liking this shirt that I have on right now or any of the other shirts that I'm wearing on this Miami trip, they are all a part of my clothing brand at the Ballpark Apparel. I made a bunch of brand new designs for the 2023 season and they're all printed on t-shirts, hoodies, and stickers. And I'd love it if you guys check it out. I put a ton of work into this new drop and it would mean the world to me if you go and visit the site. My website is at theballparkapparel.com. You can find all of my new designs and all my designs from last year on there. And if you pick one up, it is the absolute best way to support me and everything that I'm doing. When I first got inside, it was definitely more Japan fans than it was Mexico fans, but Mexico fans are filling in very well. It seems like an even 50-50 split right now, but we'll have to see when they announce the lineups.
didn't know too much about Roki Sasaki before this game, but what he just did at the top of the first, unbelievable. Hitting over 100 with his sinker with ease. He's only 21, I think. This guy's going to be an absolute stud. Everybody else has a normal photo here. Randy's is... What's this? Scoreless here through three innings. It's been quite the pitcher's duel. Sasaki and Sandoval have both looked incredible. A couple hard hits for Mexico, but not really much at all for Japan. So something got to give here at some point. We'll see. Japan was threatening big time in the fifth inning, but Randy Rosarena, man, Momo always finds him, robbed a home run, I'll throw that video up right here, and then made another running catch from bases loaded in two outs on a ball that was destined for the gap. The guy's nuts. Mexico up 3-0, top of the sixth inning. and two outs. Yoshida just hit a game-tying three-run home run in the seventh inning. Unbelievably clutch. We got a whole new game now. Probably just setting up the Randy Rosarena go-ahead home run, but we will see what happens. Headed to the ninth inning. This game has turned into an all time classic. Mexico is up five to four. They need to keep it right where it is. Otani is leading off the bottom of the ninth. So it's imperative they keep it at one run.
most unbelievable baseball games I have ever been in my life. Probably the craziest game I've ever been in my life. Japan wins on a walk-off two-run double, six to five, and they will go on to face the U.S. in the championship game tomorrow night. As a neutral fan, that was incredible. I have to imagine that was so scary for both of those fan bases, but oh, so happy I got to witness that game in person. Super excited for the championship tomorrow. Let's go. That is just about it from Lone Depot Park in Miami for tonight. I will be back here tomorrow for the championship game U.S. versus Japan, and I'll have another video from that, so make sure to check it out. If you haven't seen it, check out my U.S. versus Cuba video I made yesterday. A lot of crazy stuff happened in that game, so that was a really fun video. If you like this one, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss another one, and that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching.